Hey, what's going on? Okay, so we're going to talk Google reviews today. Uh, Google reviews are really important uh, for Google business, Google map listings. About 70% of your business comes from the little Google map that generates when somebody does a search inquiry. So if you're in the top three, um, you're probably pretty busy in business. Um, but within that top three, you know, that's kind of where the reviews come into play. Reviews are a ranking factor, although it's not a huge ranking factor. It is a small ranking factor. Um, and so I know a lot of service-based businesses, especially if they have employees um, you know, that aren't too focused, they're, they're wanting to get from one job to the next, um, sometimes it's difficult to get Google reviews. And so I'm going to go over just a couple really uh, cool tricks that I have learned to help you get some Google reviews. Uh, to increase the amount of people that will actually leave reviews um, and maybe even help you, you know, rank a little bit better in the Google Maps. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get, get started. Over the last couple of months, a lot of people have been noticing that Google actually has been removing reviews, uh, some legitimate reviews they're moving, some legitimate reviews they are not uh, showing because you know, whatever, and so you're wondering why that's happening. From what I can tell, it's usually comes from a user that doesn't use their Google account often or very much. And so when they leave a review, it may be the first review they've left, or it may be, your, you know, a review they haven't reviewed anything for months or haven't used their Google account for months. And now they're going to uh, try to leave your review and Google kind of flags it as suspicious because they haven't seen much use come out of that Google account. So if you have customers that are leaving you reviews, they're not showing up, there's really nothing that you're doing wrong. Um, so um, it's just something that Google's trying to work out right now. So how do you get more Google reviews? One, first off, you definitely have to ask for them. Um, if the client's happy with the service, the best time to ask is you know right after you finish the paperwork signed, the checks collected, all those things. And you, and you would ask, hey, if you don't mind, would you mind leaving me a written review for my Google business, it definitely helps, you know, my business. And, you know, I emphasize the fact on written, whether it's through an email, a text, or a conversation, I do emphasize the word written um, so that, you know, I can get a written review instead of just a blank five-star review. Those written reviews carry more weight um, and Google treats them a little bit more valuable, right? And as far as ranking goes. So emphasize the word written. Um, secondly, I'm gonna show you just how, you know, now that the Google My Business app is no longer on, you know, available for mobile, for your cell phone, for your iPhone, now you it even becomes more difficult to send a link for you to your client to, you know, sign in or do whatever to leave your Google review. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share just a really quick tip with you guys that I have found is useful and that you can utilize and it costs you nothing to generate you more Google reviews. So really quick, you're going to have to do this from a computer at first. Uh, but then from there, it's very simple. So really quick, let's just assume that you are a plumber, right? What you're going to do is you're going to log into, let's just say Google Maps, or just type in Google Maps into the, into the search bar and go to your Google Map listing, all right? So now what you're going to do is you're going to search out your Google Map listing. So um, let's just say you are a plumber or a, you know, a concrete guy, whatever, whoever you may be. Um, do this within Google Maps. Find your business here in the Google Maps section. Uh, go ahead and click on it. And what it's going to do on the computer, it's going to give you an option to share. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit share. And then you're going to copy this link. And when you're, you're, what you're going to do with this link is that you're going to put it up at the top of that listing, uh, up in the URL bar. And you're going to paste it there. And then you're going to hit enter. And then once it takes a second, if, if you can follow the screen, it changes from a share to an actual long, a very long URL. What you're gonna to wanna to do is copy this URL again. So now you have the long copy of your URL. All right, and then we're gonna use some free tools um, from this service right here. It's called Plepper. So it's P-L-E-P-E-R. Uh, you can search Plepper, um, but it's plepper.com, P-L-E-P-E-R. Uh, and if you go up to the top at the tool section, you can click on tools and you can go to Google Review Link Generator. Now there's other tools that do this. This is just the one that I use. Um, and then what you're gonna do 
is you're going to come down here. You can actually go to bit.ly too as well, B-I-T, um, B-I-T, you know, L-Y or whatever, um, bit.ly.com um, to do some of this as well. So what then you're going to do is you're going to come down here all the way to the bottom on the review generator and you're going to put that link that you copied here and then you can put your main keyword. So if it was a plumber, I might, might put plumber in, you know, whatever city we're on in city, right? And then I'm going to generate awesome link and it's going to generate three different links. All right. It's going to generate a Google search review pop up, um, reviews pop up. Like if, if you wanted to show someone your reviews uh, and then a knowledge graph, a knowledge panel. And so the one we're going to focus on right now is this one. Um, and so if we were to click this link right here, what's going to happen is when they click this link, whether they are on mobile or whether they are on a computer, it's going to automatically bring them to your Google map listing. And it's going to have them there, give them the ability to leave a five star, three star, whatever, and write their review and then add a photo maybe, and then hit post, right? So, and that brings that directly to them. So they, they don't have to find your business, write a review, uh, do all those different things. It goes directly right to where they need to be. Um, and then this is kind of, so what I usually do is tell my guys, I send this as a text and I tell them to save that in their phone. Um, so that way if they're texting the customer later or if the customer wasn't home and they're finished and they wanna leave, you know, ask the customer for a review, they can just grab this short code, uh, throw it into a text message or an email and then send it off to them. And when they do that, again, I emphasize the word written. And oftentimes I will have them, you know, say something like, hey, thank you so much for using XYZ service. We appreciate your business. If you don't mind uh, leaving us a written review, it's very helpful for our business, period. Uh, here's a perfect example. And then I'll type out the review for them. Um, and they may just copy and paste that review. And boom, I'm, it's easy peasy. Or they write their own review. One of the easiest ways to generate more business and more, I mean, more reviews is to grab this QR code, which this QR code is going to bring them right to where I showed you before, right to that review section. Take this QR code, print it out on some cardstock, and have it, you know, laminated on maybe the keychain to your service vehicle, put it on every single service vehicle. You can actually print these on the back of your cards. You can actually take one of these as well, which I find is very useful because pretty much everyone has a cell phone now. So you can actually tape it to the back of your cell phone cover. And then when your guys are collecting the bill, talking to the client, hey, would you mind leaving us a written review? Sure, no problem. Okay, cool. Usually the client has their phone on them. You can say, hey, you just scan this. They scan it. The next thing you know, you have a written review before you even get into the vehicle. Um, and it's just a really easy, simple way um, instead of just asking for a customer review to leave it. Again, you know, a lot of people don't want to go through the time of having to find your business, find the write a review option, things like that. Now, going back to the Google reviews disappearing or not showing up, you know, if you have a client that you know has left you a review and it's not showing up, then I suggest utilizing some of your other media outlets to still grab that review, whether that be Yelp, Facebook pages, things like that. Any other place that they could leave that same review, you can send them a quick link, tell them thank you so much for attempting to leave them a Google review. Unfortunately, it's not working. Uh, if they wouldn't mind leaving a, a Facebook review, it's very helpful for your business. So <clears throat> I hope this helps you. Um, if you have any questions about your Google Map or how to really just increase the ranking of your Google Map so that you can maybe generate part of that 70% of the people that are looking for your business, you know, meet that top three. Um, we, I do specialize in helping service-based industries generate more clients, get their business seen, Google map listings, things like that, local SEO, local rankings. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, but I hope you can utilize this trick. It's very helpful. And go get those reviews and go make that money. Y'all be blessed.